I'm going to show you how to locate your cabin air filter on a 2004 Buick Century. A couple things you'll want to do before you start. One thing that will make it a lot easier, put your wipers up in the up position and turn your car off so that they're out of the way. You'll see this black plastic here. It's held in by a few clips. So I've already popped that one out. This one uh, almost got all the way out, just want to leave that in, but I pre-popped it out. This one just screws off, and I already loosened that. So now you're left with your black plastic cowling that's not really held in by anything. This is your wiper fluid line. Might want to just detach that. Okay, got that detached, got that detached, just want to lift up on this, alright before you take off the black plastic you'll want to just peel this away just a little bit, now to get this off Take a little bit to pull it out of there. There we go. Let's see, you'll see that thing popped out right there. That's okay. I have to wiggle it a little bit to get it out. There's your cabin air filter. You can kind of see it right there. See, this one's getting a little dirty, but not as bad as I've seen some others. And I had to use two hands, but I finally got the black plastic cowling off. You actually don't need to take that off to just change the air filter. You just need to peel it upward a little bit. But just wanted to show you this. So it's you can see the air filter's in a kind of a square container. So to take it out, it's pretty easy. And that's it. Um, even though you'll pick out the right one for your vehicle, uh, this, I've actually gotten a few for this vehicle because uh, they don't seem to quit, fit quite right, so uh, that's that one. So to replace it, simply grab a new one and put it right back in. Might might have to fit it right in there, so you want it to fit right in that square. Alright, so I got it back in there. Obviously, it's a lot easier with two hands. But one thing to note, I had to push it that way because there is, it does slide into something as well as into this rectangular frame there. And so now all we have to do is just put this back on. Remember to replace this, put in all three of the pins and caps here, and then we have a changed air filter. One tip I might have skipped earlier. So this is what the pin looks like. You'll see kind of has a little shape to it. So you'll want to take a look at your your hole there with the anchor in it and make sure it's put in correctly. Okay. And then just pushes down in this case and then to get it back up you just want to pop up with that just that top one and then it might this second one might pop out too but because uh, this one's kind of worn but usually you just want to pop out that top one this one I just screwed back in this one I haven't done yet and then I already put back the windshield washer fluid tube 